So switching gears from something that looks fabulous and amazing to something that doesn't sound so fabulous and amazing. Mm. Um, can Quincy qualify? We are um, kind of terrified for Quincy right now because yeah. he had to go under the crawl space of a house. With feces and spiders. Spiders. See, I can't do spiders. It was, uh, it just seems like it's going to be a whole mess. It does seem like it's going to be a whole mess. Do you think he can cut it? Nope. I don't think he can cut <laughs> it either, but let's see if he can cut it let's or not. Let's see. Hey everyone, I'm Quincy Carr. We're here to see, does Quincy qualify? I think I do, because I'm Quincy. <laughs> anyway, look, my wife doesn't think that I can fix what's up under the house, so I'm gonna prove her wrong, get myself together, go up under the house, fix it, and just to make sure I don't mess it up, I got my friends at Priority Pest is gonna come check my work so we can let her know I can do it. We'll save some money too. Okay, oh, I think I see him coming now. Hey, Devin, how you doing? Doing good, doing good. Hey, well, I'm glad you're here, look. Um, I let my wife know that I can go up under the house and check out everything and make sure everything is good. Right. Now, um, I called you just to kind of back me up. Okay. okay so don't right. let me down, okay? I know what I'm doing, but what am I looking for? Um, well, first thing, moisture, I mean termites. Termites. Second thing is moisture. Moisture. Third thing is structural uh, repairs or problems down there. Now, is that because the termites can cause the, the, the structural damage? That is damage? true. Yeah, if they go not being treated or you don't get any kind of inspections on a yearly basis, Ooh. yeah, you can find yourself in a, in a big, big trouble. Okay, yeah, we've been here for a while, so I, I guess I should just go yeah. up under there, yeah, okay? You, you and, and like I said, if I'm wrong, you make me look right. Well, I'll tell you this, if you don't want to be sleeping down there because you get kicked out of the house, then you, you might want to let us do it because uh, I'm, I'm going to be on your wife's side, man. I'm sorry. It's all about having to pay that, that bill. Okay, I That's got right, you, okay. man. Okay, all right. So <laughs> let's check this out. Come on. All right, so is there any uh, tricks that you have if you do encounter any spiders um, before I go well, well, first, if it's real bad down there, I'm going to have to get you a suit because you do not want to roll around in rat stuff. Oh, and rat that. stuff. Oh, yeah. So. I can do it. Okay. Well, go get the suit and then no, I'll, I'm gonna get it. I'll move this door. <laughs> oh, boy. I do not think Quincy will qualify, um, but I will give him benefit of the doubt. And I hope he does qualify, but it's underneath the crawl space is a, is a different world. It's not many people. When was the last time you can think that you crawled underneath your crawl space? So, I mean, it's not a lot of people go down there. Oh, oh my gosh. He's right. Poop. Everywhere. Huh. Why is this hanging down here like this? Let me just push it back and make it look nice and neat. Oh. There is some water down here. Uh, I'll just put some towels on it. Dry it right up. What's that? Huh. <laughs> Dirty wood. Who would think you have sand on the wood? <laughs> oh. And what's... oh boy. Somebody used a bad piece of plywood on the floor. Oh. I wonder if that's termite activity. Nah. It's just old. Yeah, that looks good. It looks good down here to me. Yep, I'll just put a little towel on the water and uh, leave that alone. I'm good. Ooh, that's nasty. So what did you find? Um, well, I found termite damage. I found active termites. The, wow. mud, the mud you talk about making disappear, yeah. those were mud tubes. Oh. Um, the wood you talk about fixing and repairing down there by just sticking it back up, that's termite damage. Um, the moisture, the puddle that you talk about, yeah. you have a leak, which is causing you know, puddle down there, and moisture can lead to termites. Moisture can also lead to mold and fungi problems underneath oh. of the house. Okay. So everything that you just mentioned are serious problems and can't just uh, snap your fingers and, and disappear. Wow, so looks like I didn't qualify. You definitely failed. <laughs>
Okay, look, just don't tell my wife, all right? No, yeah. all right, man. But do me a favor, let the viewers know how they can get in touch with you so yes. they don't do the same thing I did. Yes, yes. PriorityPest.com, go on that website, give us a call. We'll come out, do a free inspection and crawl space analysis and let you know what's going on down there and what kind of problems you might have. And it's totally free, so give us a call. Absolutely. Well, it's not free because now i got to pay for him to fix what I thought I just fixed. Anyway, back to you in the studios. <laughs> we had to look at in uh, shock. That ain't it. Whoa. 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 If I would have encountered any one of those things, I would have been out. Yes. I but Quincy like, did not qualify. So keep Quincy, trying, Quincy. Wait a minute. Quincy didn't qualify, but I wouldn't have qualified. Would you have qualified? I know um, I wouldn't have qualified. I wouldn't I even have made it under the house. I think I can recognize some problems. I think, I don't know. You know, like you would have been under there with the poop uh, and the puddles no, and the no, termites no, no, no. No. and the smell. No. Oh, uh. and it was wet. Oh. Can you imagine what's going on under our houses? So that's where we have the professionals. And if you need help, please, please uh, call PriorityPets.com. Yeah. Switching about the food? Oh, OMG, guys, you can't wait to try this food and taste it. It's so delicious and it smells yummy, yummy, yummy. So, I know. Timmy to go is going to be here with us on the next segment. I was so envious food. of you being out there with that food, but I was not envious of you being out there in that cold. Exactly. Oh, but uh, you Burn. know what? I sacrificed myself for food. So, mm, yes, mm, I'm all well. in. And we're going to enjoy it in here in the warm studio. <laughs> I agree yes, with that. I would yes. sacrifice myself for food, too. I'm a greedy boy. Yes, yes. I am. And, and I'm ready to eat. Yes. I ain't yes. sacrificing myself that much. <laughs> it's too cold outside. <laughs> I will starve before I'm that cold. Oh yeah, I cannot be. I can be. Uh, cold but not starving so yes i'm all in for food <laughs> well <laughs> i'm about to tell you some good news everybody okay well we are getting started here at living 757 what is your thanksgiving tradition we will be sharing ours when we come back to eat this awesome food don't go away yes, yes. don't go away